Don't know about you, but I am absolutely ready to work out. <laughs> Abs. Well, hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Today's video, we're gonna smash an abs workout. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. All you need is like nothing really, just some space, just some space, and then we'll get straight into it. Um, the first movement that we're gonna do will be these lateral leg lowers. If you're a beginner, just bend at the knees and do a smaller range of movement. These are tough, but we're gonna go for it. You can do it, ready, ready, and go. Right, so legs are up, hands are out, like arms are stretched out like a T, Mr. T, arms stretched out either side. And we're just gonna lower the legs down to either side. Now the aim of this movement is to really control that, that, that movement, the movement of the legs. But I want you to keep your shoulders on the ground. So there's a real temptation for the shoulder to peel up off the mat. Try and keep it down. If you find your shoulders coming up, that's okay. Just do a smaller range of movement. Um, keeping the knees bent still gives you a really good workout. We're just using the core to control side to side lateral leg lowers. It's a slow movement, it's controlled. Try and keep the legs together and rest. Well done. Next move, we're coming up into a straight arm plank. Um, so body in a straight line from feet to knees to hips to shoulders and um, keeping good core control and we're just going to walk out the hands in front and back so we're just teasing the arms teasing that plank ready and go now what this does is if you start with the, your hands straight under the shoulders that's cool you've still got a really good plank position but if you move one arm in front and then back you tease out that plank and it gets more difficult the further your arms are out so you really have to brace the core so what i'm doing is i'm alternating which arm steps forward and back first so right arm forward left arm forward right arm back left arm back um, and then the next time left arm forward right arm forward left arm back right arm back if that makes sense but keep going you're doing really well getting a great core workout and rest well done i love this workout by the way guys I, it's a really good one and the moves are so good next we're doing some dish beer hugs oh just the most wholesome soul loving ab movement i think i've ever done starting out in a dish position dish position <laughs> dish position <laughs> ready and go so arms out making a big dish and then bringing the body up to hug the knees beginners variation as shown still getting a really good workout so as we stretch in that dis dish <laughs> position wow why is that so hard to say a normal person would redo this voiceover but i'm just gonna power through you guys this is i only ever do one take on these <laughs> can you tell <laughs> so when you're in that dish position you want the arms back over the head but you want your upper body slightly off the, the ground and your legs off the ground. So it's a really hard position to hold and you're coming up, keeping the feet off the ground and rest. Oh, I don't know why you guys put up with me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we're doing foot tap, foot, foot tap crunches. Um, beginner variation, you can keep the upper body down on the ground and you're just picking up the feet um, and still tapping the inner foot ready and go. Otherwise, we're coming all the way up. This is a difficult movement, but you can do it. So tapping the inner foot, inner foot with the opposite arm. So right foot tapping, left inner. Right hand tapping left inner foot. Yeah, that's it. Keep going, guys. Try and keep the shoulders nice and low. So I don't want your shoulders hunching up towards the ears. Just keep moving through. I know it gets hard and it feels like you want to stop. And that's okay. Like, that's okay. It's good to challenge yourself. That's what we're here for. Um, but you'll get stronger. I love it. I remember when I first started doing home workout videos online on YouTube as well. I loved when I saw myself getting stronger and rest. It was a real motivating thing for me. When I did one video first and it was hard. And then two weeks later when I tried it, it was a little bit easier. And, that, and that's how progress works. No one starts off being able to do everything. We all have to start somewhere. So just keep going. Next, we're going to do some leg lowers with the flutter kicks. Beginner's variation and um, keeping the knees bent and go. 
Um, so you're lowering down the legs, you're doing flutter kicks for 10, so just straight leg, flutter kicking, and then back up. Now what I want you to make sure is that your lower back is pressed against the mat. So you'll see that I've got my hands just underneath my bottom to just give that extra bit of support to make sure that I'm keeping a good pelvic tilt. I'm not arching the lower back as I lower my legs down. Um, so making sure you're lowering the legs as low as you can and then doing 10 flutter kicks before you pick the legs back up. Beginners, you keep a bent leg and you don't lower the legs quite as far. You're still getting in a really good core workout. Well done guys and rest. Then we're gonna go back in from the top repeating these exercises. I love this workout, they're just such good moves. This is a great workout. Like, I know I'm not supposed to say that, but dang, if you see it, you call it. This is a great abs workout. Um, so yeah, we're going back in with a lateral leg lower. Beginners just doing a smaller range of movement with the knees bent and go. Legs straight up to the one side, to the other side. As you can see on this round, I decided to not lower my legs quite as far because I noticed that my shoulders were coming up. Now the main thing is to do things with good technique. So if your technique is fully going and you can't you can pull it back, that's okay, you just do a variation. Like you're still getting in a really good workout. So I want the shoulders staying flat on the mat. So just move within the range that you are able to. So you notice on the first set, I was lowering my legs all the way down to almost touching the floor. And this one, I'm doing a slightly lower range and that's cool, that's cool. I'm still getting a really effective workout. And rest well done. Then we're going back in with the plank teasers. So in plank position, we're going to walk the hands out and back. If you're a beginner, just bend at the knees and you can either just hold a plank or you can still tease out with the arms moving further in front and back to being under the shoulders. Ready and go. Good plank position to start with. So hands beneath shoulders. Good tight core, I don't want your bottom sticking up into the air. Um, if you're a beginner, I'm just showing you there as well, you can just hold the straight plank. Um, but we're stepping out with the hands, so walking out. The further your hands are away from the body, the harder that plank position is. If you imagine if you walked out all the way, you'd literally be holding your face, just hovering above the mat, and you'd be trembling, your core would be trembling. So if you wanna make this harder, just walk out a little bit further, tease it a little bit more. But either way, we're getting a great workout. You're doing so well. Also getting the bonus of the upper body, getting stronger. You are welcome. Don't say, I don't treat you. <laughs> and rest, well done. Our fave move, love a hug. Is it me or is, is the pandemic <laughs> made anyone really appreciate how lovely it is to have a hug from someone you love? Oh, that's probably a bit deep for a voiceover. But it's okay, because you can hug yourself with this ab movement. Ready and go. <laughs> so starting in a dish position. <laughs> Starting as a dish shape, we are going to bring the arms out and around, bring the upper body up, hugging the knees. So arms are straight behind the head, so just going past the ears and then they come out and around as you pick the body up. Notice my feet are staying up off the ground. I know it's difficult to find that balance, but you're strong, you can do this. Doing so well, keep going, keep the shoulders nice and low breathing through we're breathing through bend the knees hug the knees into the chest and rest while well done next we're doing some foot tap crunches if you're a beginner lying with the upper body flat on the mat otherwise from more of a challenge we're really picking up that upper body it's mad how heavy your upper body is when you do these it's like dang is my head that heavy wow ready and go so we're coming up, keeping the shoulders nice and low. And when I say low, I mean you don't want your shoulders for ear earrings. We're not hunching. You don't want this to look like stress city, okay? We're nice and relaxed, we're chill. We're coming up all the way, tapping the inner foot with the opposite arm. Keep pushing, I know it's tough. Breathe through. One rep after the other, just five more seconds. And rest, well done. Last movement of this workout, gonna give it our all, the leg lower and flutters. So lying on the back, legs up in the air to start, lower them down, 10 kicks, back up. For a beginner, bend at the knees, don't lower so far and just do fewer kicks. 
ready and go. So nice straight leg, pointed toes, flutter up to 10 and then lift the legs back up, making sure that that lower back stays pressed into the mat. I don't want a little squirrel or a little mouse to be able to run under your back. A squirrel wouldn't really do that, but a mouse would and you don't want to let them. So make sure that your lower back is pressed in, your core is nice and tight, controlling that movement, breathing through. I know it's tough, but you're tougher. You can so do this. I'm so, so proud of you. Well done for showing up and trying. Like, thank you for doing this with me. Genuinely proud of you. Just five more seconds. And rest, well done, you did it, you done, you done did it. I love you so much, I love you, thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, let me know how you found it. Okay, see you soon, bye. <laughs>